He's going to establish, strengthen, and settle each one of us. Strengthening you with power and might, the inner man. The arms of your heart being flooded with light. The spirit of wisdom and revelation resting upon you. You come in to know the hope of the call. And the power of God brought when he raised Jesus from the dead. Because you've been raised in that same power. You're called to come to know Jesus, your Father God, living in you as Jesus did when he walked on earth. And he said, I said, Father, you'll be the business of workers. To the degree that they can't tell the difference between you and Jesus. And how Jesus walked on earth. Did you see doing stadiums? Did breaking bread and feeding everyone with the sack of lunch? I mean, can, just think about that for a moment. How about having a stadium full of people? The Father says, release, release a healing, healing way. Everybody healed with the sound of my voice. Bam! Everybody gets healed. Jesus' name. Uh, amen? Amen. How many were healed? Everybody raised their hand. It's like, did you guys miss something or something? No. No, believe it. Because, because it was released. You know? you mean, these are the days we're living in. Yes. This is the time to work out the Word. Be hungrier than you ever have. Yes. Mm -hmm. Put the Word in 29 hours a day, 9 days a week. Mm -hmm. We've heard that one before. I'm like, I'm thinking of the Lord. I need to get ready to go to Phoenix. He said, go. I'll get you ready as you go. How are you? Serious. Every day, the obedience gets stronger. The faith gets stronger. He gets saturated. He's going to start teaching on the internet in the mornings. Holy! We're just getting established and settled here, and then it's like. Holy! See, pray like we're going to say, what? 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 You know, it's, not, I don't, it's not a work, it's a, it's a flow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ever see someone fall out and with stammering lips? You ever get baptized in the Holy Ghost and it's out of control, it's just vibrate? Remember there's this scandal in the Minneapolis and Chocopee, we're doing a tent meeting, and Susan, you know, before we started tent meeting, we took and did some meetings in the church, and Susan sits in the back, and then afterwards, she comes and sits up on the front and the left. I says, hi. So I walked to her and said, how you doing? She, she says, I was fine until you got here. <laughs> oh, really? Huh. So do you want to ask you your heart? She says, yeah. So I take and pray with her. And she begins to bound with us after I pray with her. So I bound it and it in the name of Jesus. And uh, she comes back the next day. To her. And then, you know, she's always manifest. The Lord said, release your faith. So in other words, don't go back and pray again. Just because she's manifest. Don't be moved by what you're seeing. Moved by what he said. What was spoken through me. So I leave, we go. You know, I think of one of the days that, oh, what's his name? Pat Evers. Did you ever know Pat Evers? He went to Living Word. The Pat was coming to the tent meetings. And uh, <clears throat> so we we go to this market board at the casino to eat. And anyway, so we go into the bathroom. And this, this was a time of my life that, that if I looked at you, the joy would hit you. And you get drunk. It's wild. But the thing is that we caught eye contact in the bathroom. In the casino. <laughs> and, and he was like, I'm like, I gotta get out of here. So I'm out standing across the hallway, waiting for him to come out of the bathroom. And he's like, <laughs> and he walks across the hallway and he goes like he puts one hand down like that. <laughs> and this guy walks up and says whatever he's on I want it <laughs> true story 
Hi. Mm-hmm. And then, so anyway, that was fun. And it was during that timeline, but so I come back, Susan comes back the next day. She's a different girl. And she goes to tell me that she was dedicated in her mother's womb by her grandmother, who was the head of the Satanic Church in the five state region who lived in Chaska. And she was dedicated to take her position. Oh, wow. And she got born again. But then her kids yeah. changed. But then a kid come to the tent meeting. Yes. It got filled with other girls. So it was like she was floating about this far off the ground, vibrating like a, like a ribbon in the wind. Going to yeah. yes. Father's going to amp it up. Amen. Yes. Father's about to amp it up. Yes. Yes. You're going to begin to see drastic, incredible yes. deliverances yes. where yes. people are free, just want to ask Christ into their hearts. No more cigarettes, no more alcohol, no more drugs, no more swearing. Just, I mean, there's times that people get delivered like that. But it's on. See, every, all the combinations of what you've seen Father do in the last, since 1900, it's all, every, every, you know, it's like Father brought different moves. There's a worship, there is a healing, there's, you know, revelation, there's a faith move, there's all these different things are preparing for everything to happen all at once. Yes. And it's like different waves went through the body of Christ with different teachings and different aspects. And now it's time for the full, this, um, full spiritual stature to come. Because all those yeah. things were building blocks to know how God operates. Mm -hmm. And we're going to begin to see Father move in the fullness. And you're going to begin to see the sons of God come forth in such strength. Amen. You're going to go to meetings and every, when other people can read thoughts. And you walk in there clean because you know you want to stay clean. <laughs> but but that would be like that's not an issue anymore because you're so enjoying who you are with God living in the inside of you and strength. Come on. But we have this treasure in earth and vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God, not of us. Hallelujah. So the whole thing isn't working for it. It's entering the rest and resting and then letting him work. Yes. Letting him do the work. Letting him take us for the ride of our lives. Yes. Us learning how to flow in the know of what he's doing in the moment. Because we hear his voice. Because we've been eating the word. And now our voice is heard. The creation responds. And the sons of Skeleton, it's like... You know, hell knows who you are. I know hell knows who I am. I prayed the other day, but Biden, it was that yesterday, Biden, where we're in this whole region, it, this stuff just comes, the backwash, the backwash wants to come, come bug me today, and like, yeah, sort of laughing at it. Hey! <laughs> and when I thought about it, it's like, it's not in my faith. See, what he'll do is try and stir up stuff in you. He's like, ah, shut up. <laughs> You're under there. <laughs> we are kings and priests. We are established in the glory. Mm -hmm. Nothing can stop and hinder you from hitting full spiritual stature. You, you think my father's going to let any babies not get discouraged? Right. I mean, religion will come in and kill them. Right. Mm -hmm. But my father, if you really seek him, you will find him. Yeah. I mean, I was yeah. burnt on drugs. I didn't remember the Lord's Prayer when I first got saved. It totally changed my life. Mm -hmm. Asking Christ to live in my heart. Get the with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Spend time in the Word for the next three years, mm -hmm. praying and fasting. Met someone who was in the fast for a week, two weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. So one time we made eight months and fasted seven, six, seven, eight days, and he started drying fasting a couple days a week. No food, no water. And the other, the other brothers and the brother in there are like, what are you guys doing? The money's off the charts here. It's like, Because we need to be seen of God out of man. 
Hallelujah. But there's patterns that he wants to teach so everybody can come into the fullness of who Father's made us to be. Yes. Are you ready to go for the ride in your life? Yes. Do you really yes. think you need a natural job? <laughs> when you can work for the King of Kings and Lord of Lords during the manifestation of the sun's here, or, or the, you know, the climax of the ages, the maturity of the times. Think about it. Hallelujah. It's like, you know, if you don't have a big debt load, you can just, you know what? I start believing. I'm putting the word in until he leads me. If he wants me to stay in my job, but then I'm going to make sure I hear his voice. I'm going to stay in my job or whatever I do because, and I'm not going to step out of the boat until he tells me to. I'm going to get established in hearing and listening and letting him believe me. Then he'll take you around the world. It don't matter who you are. And you'd be able to go and just... I, <laughs> raise your hands and get hit. And uh, anywhere and call the glory down and fill rooms or fill whatever. Hallelujah. And you're not a secret agent. <laughs> secret agent. Bobby, you know what my mama says in Corinthians? 13, when I was a child, I spoke like a child. But I'm going to grow up. And then when I grow up, I'll be known this way to everybody around me as my father has seen me from the foundation of the world. See, then you'd be known as you were known. It's really what it says. He's chapter 13. Then he goes on and talks about tongues. Speaking in your prayer language. Hallelujah. Speaking of what? How to grow up. See, then that's really the timeline of the manifestation of the sons of God coming forth in power. Then you shall be known, even as you are known of your father. Abraham became the father of many nations. He ended up being known to planet Earth as the father of many nations, as his father knew him. Because he came to the place where he labored and entered into the rest, and he trusted what father said, and then he acted like it was true, and it came to pass. Because he believed. And that's where the body of Christ is going. We're going to a place where you believe what he said about you and you act like it. <clears throat> and he brings to you line upon line, precept upon precept. You go from glory to glory. You get stronger. All the promises of God are yes and in him, amen. Paul says, I have believed, therefore I have spoken. Philemon verse 6 says that the communication of your faith may become effectual to the acknowledging of every good thing that's in you in Christ Jesus or those promises would be voice activated because you believe and have spoken so when you pour the word in and then you believe then you speak then that promises comes and establish you another one and then all, before long all those promises are just carrying you and now you only are, are sustained totally by the anointing carrying you where he makes his ministers a flame of fire. He, he takes it, makes you kings and priests and puts, it, <coughs> puts his abilities on you. Hallelujah. 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 Do you sense the calling? Yes. Yes. See, in my, my heart's desire is to see everybody here. Hallelujah. <coughs> Walk as he walked to be as he is. And come into that level of understanding of who you are. To the degree that hell knows who you are and is terrified when you get out of bed. Lester Summer was in this foreign country. And all of a sudden his bed starts to rattle and it moves over. Like three feet was a testimony or whatever it was. And he says, he woke up, oh, is the devil had done this? He said, oh, it's only you. Goes back to sleep. 
Is it? Wait a minute. Delvin, get back in here and put my bet back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serious? Huh? How about being up in the mountains in Tibet? That's for summer. Riding a donkey and he falls behind everybody. And, and they're, they're off leading. And he'd fallen up and he blacked out and then he got back up. And he's away from the tribe at the time, or the, the people leading. And uh, he said, you come to the corner, and you know, you just take it. Let the donkey lead you, just believe that it's going the right way. Mm -hmm. And the mountains at the back. Well, he gets over and he gets done with it. He gets to the village later than he should. A couple years later, he's out preaching in a church. And his lady says to the pastor, could you and you and Lester come over for, for lunch after the service? And uh, Lester's like, well, I normally don't, but we'll go. So he goes and they, you know, do the nice dinner and the pie comes out. And she says, Can I see your diary? And he's like, no. Because less would keep a diary. I mean, if you keep a diary, you, you keep a, a track and all those things that Father speaks to you and all those things that happen with you. Mm -hmm. And you look back and you, you can see the trail of God's hand in your life. 